Yo, what is up YouTube, it's Dark Fang here, back with another video, and today we're doing five more types of people in Paladins 3, well, actually it's five types of people in Paladins 3, yeah, five types of people in Paladins 3. We got three comments in the last video, and I've got two of my own, and yeah, so if, after watching this video, and the other two, if you haven't watched them already, um, write in the comments below anyone, any type I forgot, I think I've covered most people right now, I mean, we're on this, this, this like, fifth, after this video, I've footed on 15 types of people. I think I've done most people right now. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the video. Just a motherfucking copycat. Somebody tell these bitches the professors here. You know they try to box forever, rock it extra weird. They saying this Illuminati shit, puppeteer. Elevated, you ain't even on a second tier. First up, we got one by Block500, and he said to people who play champs because they see pros play them, and they actually just terrible at this champ in general. Like, I call them the tryhards, I guess. I don't know. They think they'll be really good at champ because they see, like, say they think they're really good with Andro because they see like Prince Danny and Stolzy play them, but then they sh do just hold the team back, and it's like a five v four because they suck. Remember guys, practice makes pros. Alright, second of all, we have another one from Blow Up 500, and this one we probably all have run into in some time of our Paladin's career or game life, I don't know. These are the ditches. I don't know why I haven't already bought them up. Basically, if the champ gets taken, they'll just not pick, whether it be the new champ when it comes out, or they just love one champ in general. They'll spam the chat, oh my god, give me that champ right now. And then you don't, because you got it first. And then they just ditch the game, and it's so annoying. Also, they do get the punishment of dessert to wait like, I don't know, I think it's like 5 minutes. But some people will actually go that far that they won't choose, and they're like, like, it the dessert time is so long like they're that desperate to get their favorite champion like it's actually quite annoying not gonna lie you'll find these people most of the time during pts when it first starts and the first week are probably when a new champ releases it's so annoying Alright, next we have one by uh, Lol It's Steve, and they said the player who, when they see someone who dies, they scream and chat, "Oh my God, you need uninstalled game, go play no Roblox, suck my." Well, I'll let you finish that off. Um, um, I'm gonna call these uh, childish, toxic players. They're similar to normal toxic players. But these guys are more, these people are so much more savage. Like, you don't want to mess with them. Like, these people really hurt your feelings, trust me. They're hard. D don't mess with these people. These, these child, these, these I don't even think I should call them childish toxic players, man. No, no, I can't. Alright, at number 4 we have um, one I came up with and this are, these are the childish reporters. See, the report button is for hackers, trollers, toxic players and other people like that. It's not for people who you think aren't playing as well. Like, you say you're playing, say like you're playing as like tank, they're not doing as well because like it's one tank versus like the whole team and they're just destroying you and no one's helping and you're just getting destroyed completely and utterly destroyed um, but everyone in chat is saying oh my god get on the point why aren't you getting the point because you suck report this guy girl because they ain't going on the point like why would you report someone because they're not doing as good and most of the time it's just it's just stupid like someone Reporting someone because they're not playing as good as you. Ah, jeez. Oh, 
Alright, to end today's list, we got one that I, again, I've come up with because I only got three comments on the last one. And we got to have a good one in everyone, so... That is the people who are getting Diamond Master or and or Grandmaster right after the 15 games. These are freaking, I don't know what to call them, like the Masters? Yeah, but they'd be winning every provisional game and taking the leaderboard by storm easily. And yeah, they're just great like that. And I'm not, I've only won one game out of five so far. I still have 10 more provisionals to go. So, anyway, uh, thank you all for watching the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Paladins, Warframe and Cross Out videos. Join the Discord, links in the description, share the video, click the bell button to get notified about my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Wow.